Welcome back, True Believers. This is Rakdar, and today I am joined by Rockabilly record producer Zachary Powers. Zach, which records are you working on right now? Uh, I'm working on Chainsaw Grandma with your daddy's chainsaw. I'm working on Grandma Corpse Rape. Grandma Corpse Rape. That's because I'm a metal producer. Yeah, your, 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 your themes are... I mean, our themes are wholesome, while being dark. <laughs> we just give bad titles. And anyway, last time on Dragon Ball Z, um... We got to this cabin in the woods, which yeah, is love. not the title of a film. Boy. Dude, and look at that texture HD. You know what's funny is the texture is good in the, in the HD, but you can still see, like, Where the, the, the polygons. Yeah. <laughs> like, I love that when they do HD remakes of older games, there's no way they, they're just like, we're not going to fucking go in and smooth out his ears. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Look at his Urban Outfitters ass coat. <laughs> look at what they did to his hair, though. Mm. I know. That boy is... That's dreamy. That dreamy ass curls That's and locks. Dreamy. Why can't you stop the young fucking asshole? I know, right? It's like, let's waste some fucking ammo. Like, you'd think that, like, a fucking special agent would be like, No right. traps in here! <laughs> no traps in here! Alright, that's... Dude, you think they would totally, like, like, put that... The blinking thing, like, just cut a spot in the wall or something. Yeah, or just throw a sheet on it. <laughs> But then, but then we'd be able to, we'd think there's ghosts, and we would never come into the room to trigger the That's trap true. in the first place. We'd be too scared of the ghosts. <laughs> we'd just stop the game. We'd be like, go, 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 go. ghost. All right, Zach and I hitting the power button. We're done. End of playthrough. End of playthrough. Also, dude, I don't know if you can hear it right now, but there is mysterious noises in here. And a spoiler: they're not from an enemy, or are they? Well. That's the ghost. All right, and power button, dude. It'd be funny if I like did just hit the power button right now, but then that would actually suck. Is this is it this chair? Maybe the chair's making noise. Making noise, chair. Dude, use your knife. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, knife that shit, bro. Don't lie to me. Knife that shit. God damn it, chair! Gave you a fucking. You should be able to like, if this game were good, you would be able to like take off the leg of the chair and like hit people with it. Just do it. Just do I it. gotta get away from this chair, guys. I gotta run by it. <laughs> Three, two, one. Fucking go! Boom. Oh, I thought that. No. I activate the cutscene before. <laughs> no, no, yeah, you have to check that. Fucking go! Okay. <laughs> ah, a little rough, don't you think? <laughs> Oh, you're not like them? No. You? <clears throat> okay, I have only one very important question. Do you got a smoke? Got gum. Perfect. The big cheese. What? All right, end of chapter. As you can see, I brought the hit ratio down like a motherfucker. Actually, eighty-four percent is pretty. Good. And number number of times killed that is, is mostly me. Yeah, I was about to say, but those deaths were fair considering the fact that Zach did take out the fucking double uh, Salvador doctors. Let us give you our power. <laughs> Soon, you will become unable to resist this intoxicating power. Wake up. Alright guys, it's a cutscene. Uh, yeah, totally yeah. safe. Yep. Pretty safe. Crawl out of one hole. We learned that Leon you does tell me what's heroin going on steroids here? or something. Americano we learned seen? that Andre the Giant has like a nice to this beard the world. and is an enabler. Easy. And is an enabler. Whoever He's like, <laughs> I'm gonna make you fucking Easy. take the drugs. Came here looking that for might have girl. just been like three midgets. <laughs> That's what, a long supposed to be a cop or something? Nah, you don't look the type. 
Maybe. Okay, let me guess. She's the president's daughter? <laughs> That's too good for a guess. Want to start explaining? Psychic powers. Nah, <laughs> just kidding with you, amigo. Family I overheard one of the villagers he talking something about the president's daughter in the church. Classic jokes. Oh, well, yeah, special skin for this one. And who might you be? Me llamo Luis Serra. I used to be a cop in Madrid. But now I'm just a good-for-nothing guy who happens to be quite the ladies' man. Why'd you quit? I like how, like, Oof, how exposition-y that is. No, I'm just a good-for-nothing guy. <laughs> like, for it. you could have that Thank being read by, like, it's cracked up to be the movie more. preview voice. Used he used to be a, to be a <laughs> crazy <laughs> cop in <laughs> Spain. <laughs> Now he's just a good-for-nothing good guy, <laughs> looking so for I'm love in all the haunted the fountains of Greece. City on my first day in the force. <laughs> but when a magical <laughs> coin <laughs> gets he's, pro right? he's promised to have sex with the I president's daughter before prom night. The virus in a lab at the department. <laughs> okay. All right, and we're still totally safe. Definitely, we're in a cutscene, so. Yeah, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm putting the controller down. <laughs> so nice. Sweet. Yep. Oh. You. Zach is not holding what? the controller right now. He picked up the controller in literally a hundredth of a second to hit those buttons because we thought we were totally safe. Yep. Beer is spilled everywhere. <laughs> Especially all over the controller. I'm going to keep on... I mean, I think that's a one-time thing, so I'm going to keep on putting down the controller <laughs> Every cut scene. in future cutscenes. So like but it is worth noting that there are a number of rats and cats <laughs> running around this room. <laughs> Sorry I couldn't get in touch sooner, but I was a bit tied up. Oh! Uh, You're okay, right? What did he say? He's tied There's up. a male civilian yeah. held captive. According Close. to him, Ashley's in a church somewhere. What happened to him? He managed to escape. I think what they're saying with this is, is that the, the church, that church is an oppressive no, location. But apparently there's a secret <laughs> passage in the building. Dude, they're really, they're really going deep right here. <laughs> back to the I, you know what, Zach? I missed that before. Yeah. And now I, now I learned. Well, I've professionally studied uh, the literature of Proust. And Poe, and John Milton, for my entire life, and I. Oh, is that? Those were the writers on the game. Is that common for a rockabilly record producer to? Yeah, I mean, study it's that? kind of part and parcel that you study classic oh, literature. Yeah. Okay, well, that makes sense. Yeah, for the lyrics of the rockabilly songs. All right, guys. Oh. I have a good feeling about this guy probably, in the rapist costume. You're probably not going to get a rifle at this part of the game. That's for sure. I oh, know the guy that way over there over the fence could see you. He's got glaucoma. By the way, Zach and I, whatever we talk about this game, oh, you might want to. I was gonna glaucoma. say it might be time to start item combining. But whenever Zach and I talk about this game, we talk about it like habitually, in terms of like moments. I can't believe we're already getting full suitcases. Yeah. Oh yeah. But it's like we talk about it in terms of like memorable moments, and this is one of those places where it's totally like. They happen about um, once every. It's like 20 every or 20 30 fucking minutes. minutes, yeah. Like, this is a memorable moment, is the sniping battle. Edward's favorite character. Got something that might interest you. <laughs> Probably the most referenced character from this Probably. ever. Got a selection of good oh, look, both. Updated. I was going to say, both of his lists are updated. From it's as though we've never seen him before. Don't you know he's strange, but if you see the blue medallions hanging around in a village. Why does he have a totally different accent? <laughs> like completely not. Oh, it's stranger. Yeah, he's like you weird, might have like, noticed Cockney that... British instead of. <laughs> you might have noticed that I replaced your map with a map with blue dots on it. Does this mean like when British people get infected with Plagos, they just turn they change into, their like, they change their accents? Yeah, brutal capitalists. <laughs> Dude, sure, why not? Absolutely. Dying? Is this guy infected? Are you gonna get attach case? We don't have a lot of potatoes. Oh, we have stuff to sell. We have, yeah, we've got a handful of stuff to sell. So yeah, we're obviously gonna buy the rifle, and thanks to Attache, thanks to Attache Case, thanks to Attache Helicopter Case M. Zach, you put the gun upside down in the case! Now when you're fumbling to get to it during combat, you're gonna die guaranteed for sure 100%. 
Well, no, logistically, uh, if you were to put the case down and then open it, <laughs> the gun would be facing the right direction. Oh my god. Attachy helicopter. You're flying your Attachy helicopter. So we're flying our Attachy helicopter it's a, it's over nice. this rifle case. Yeah. I mean, I did also buy the Inspector Gadget upgrade where he doesn't have it on right now, but we have a hat that turns into a helicopter. Oh, by the way, you'll notice Zach and I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually make a point. He's going to start shooting things while I make a point to tell you that... We are specifically going to not upgrade any weapons except for the TMP and final incarnations of any weapon that we're going to choose to keep. And the TMP, which is, to be fair, is the final incarnation. It's the final... In- that is, yeah. That's the, the TMP is the final incarnation of the TMP. We will put certain upgrades on our handguns, depending on... What are we going to do, Zach? Are we going to get Killer 7 or are we going to stick with Blacktail? What do you want to do? Well, the Killer 7's a magnum. Okay. I didn't realize. For some reason, I thought we were talking about what's the best. I was talking about what? what's the best handgun, dude. That was. I would say he was directly in your crosshairs right there. I need to hear the music. Yeah, they hear me. They know I'm here. Yeah, they know you. Yeah. That was. And you know what? That was just unfortunate. Oh. It was because I think that was a glitch. Like, because okay, so I don't know if you've ever if you've never played this game before, you can shoot like. A bunch of those dudes without them knowing you're here. Yeah, but you can usually shoot. Yeah, you can usually shoot a bunch of guys without them knowing you're here. And what just happened was Zach shot a guy, but because it didn't register the headshot, it triggered the the fight. I also shot a guy that was too close to me. If I had okay, back it would have been more successful. Really? It would have been harder yeah, I, I will. Yeah, so. I think that's true. I'm not I don't know. I always just go. Well, yeah, I always go from the like the order of like the furthest dudes on the map. To the closest dudes on the map. Also, that's pro strats right there. Doors are one of the best weapons in the game. They use zero ammo and they do damage. Look at that. Oh, oh shit. dude! Yeah, that kick. was dude. Seriously, the door is like it's as good as the band. The doors, and it's nice that they're fucking. Holy shit! <laughs> it's <laughs> it's, they, it's nice that his fucking pitchfork. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get the fix! Oh probably. my god, it's yeah. It's, oh god, and. Explosion. Yeah, I was about to say. Yes! <laughs> I was about to say, you'll get the nice explosion outside of the door. <laughs> Dude, that was. Wait, Zach, wait, great. Long. Great, totally on purpose pro strat. <laughs> yep, totally good, 100%. Where? Ooh, what's gonna, I knew this game, this game coding. I'm like, uh. <laughs> be a little more predictable, rare. <laughs> Did you say rare? <laughs> I don't know, we made this cat pop. <laughs> I remember Rareware. They made this right after fucking Donkey Kong. They blew himself up, I didn't even shoot him. You know, I gotta give credit actually to Rareware. They actually have a great library of games. Didn't they make, um. No, they didn't make Eternal Darkness, did they? I don't know, maybe. Dude, you know Eternal Darkness? This is an oh, interesting story. Yeah, that's actually a kind of a bad thing because know, you want his loot. Yeah, you want his loot. But dude, so I actually planned on doing Eternal Darkness on my channel before I got the Hapauji. You're actually doing pretty well. Yeah, you are. And, um, but I found out that GameCube emulation is the, sh- like, shittiest emulation ever. No! Dude, you got it. I was like, you- oh! Oh my god, what the, I, what the fuck? What the fuck? Who cares? Fuck yeah, happened? as long as you get- as long as you get behind that guy that went behind you, you're set. Didn't one guy- still alive. I was like, I was about to say, so didn't one of those there. guys go behind you? What do I know? Dude, there's a dude behind you. I'm telling you, man. No, I think he fell. Okay. Oh, okay. yeah, I didn't think about that. I thought he just got knocked. Yeah, you're right. Which is, once again, unfortunate. Fall deaths. Wait, it's funny. A spawn. I know they're. Oh. It's funny because Zach and I like. Well, at least I, I know. Guys I know. Fun yeah. Enough. I know. I play this way, and I'm pretty sure Zach plays this way. Where? What? We like purposely plan to keep enemies in good places to get their loot. And so kicking them off the Someone edge is, is unfortunate. DM, DMite. It's that guy who's throwing dolomite. Yeah, why are you throwing dolomite, bro? Dude, it's too bad. If you, um, it would have taken way better prediction. You could have gotten him with the group I of know, dudes. But I just. But it would have. You would have had to. Throw yeah, but you would have had to have predicted that so well to get him with these two guys. Like, you would have had to know that oh, he I was. I was hoping he'd throw it down and they'd be like on the ground while he threw it. Dude, I fucking love it when that happens. There's so much dynamite, guys. Are no. S- oh. Oh Whoa. shit! Oh, fucking dynamite guy! 
that's perfect. Yeah, I was about to say that is. He took care of himself. That was a beautiful. I feel like Dynamite guys probably not in terms of like Pitchfork versus Dynamite. Probably not the best strategists of the bunch. Because yeah, that was a shit. What would you bro. say the percentages? That was a really shitty. Well, yeah, but what would you say the percentages of Dynamite guys that actually end up do, being their own undoing in this game? I don't know, like at least probably like forty percent. Yeah. Yeah, it's way higher than that, but I mean, it is due to your gunshots that make them do their own undoing. Sometimes. Sometimes they're just their own undoing. Oh, yeah. Like that guy, who's oh, like, what? I'm gonna fucking throw it at this guy's back, <laughs> and it's gonna bounce off his back, and we're both gonna die. Uh, that guy was actually a sleeper. Up the stairs, I think I spawned a bunch of guys. Let's do the cat. The dynamite guys, Zach, are Let's actually stars the sleeper. Rainbow. They're actually stars sleeper agents. The nice thing about this area is there's only one way to get up here. Oh yeah, dude, that, I always like that about this, is that once you come up here, you know where the dudes, you know where mans are coming from. Although I was talking about it with Peter earlier. Yeah, there they are. The fact that, um, one thing that makes this game fun is that a lot of the times there's, there's guys coming from random directions a lot of the time, and they really do try and make it so, like, there's not obvious exits there's everywhere. The first one. Can you do it? Is that how big is the first place? It's a tough be? shot. We'll never <laughs> make it. Who am I gonna hit? It's so dude, that rocks. That rocks completely obstructing your vision. Dude, this first wave. I hate it when like one guy comes up and you're yeah, waiting like for a wave. Yeah. Me. I hate it when like one guy's just like, all right, here comes the whole wave. <laughs> oh, look at this guy. <laughs> he was really struggling. He's like, <laughs> he's like, all right, I'm gonna sidestep. He he struggled so hard to sidestep that, only then to just walk back into it. Dude, they're all murdered. Doesn't like. Does, does the wave end? That was MLG. That was total milk. Does the wave end, or does it keep going? I think there's more waves. Yeah, see. Oh, okay. You didn't pro strats that shit. You actually did pro strats that shit. You're not gonna. You're not gonna waste the choke gun. Uh, I might. But I want to get them closer together. This guy's kind of ahead. Dude, you can. Sniper rifle through the line. You should probably use a rock shotgun right now. Now, and you know, you've got one round, which is all you need. Yeah, I was about to say, one round is all you need for the situation that you are currently in. And you killed some guys. I killed one guy. Oh, dude. Oh, oh, oh that was a. That was. I was like, dude. Yeah, that, was that a is risk. a ballsy ass kick you got going there. Whatever. We got plenty of health. Oh yeah, that's, that's, well, that's what I was saying earlier. Was that shit? Oh, shotgun, well, but this really guy's real. this guy's opening himself up for a kick right here. Oh, what? oh, you got it! Yeah, I was gonna say you got that shit. But um, there's like more than enough. There's way more green herbs in this than you can ever mix with red and yellow herbs. But that's true. If I was advising you, if you're like a first time player of this game, I would say still save all your herbs as much as possible. Because you may never know when you may play like Rakdar. Got one of them. And totally fuck up. I think there's only two ways to these guys, right? Uh, the and then three, the know. music stops, maybe? I feel like somewhere around some here. There's somewhere, like, hiding places. Oh, well, no, no, I know that, but I mean, like... I feel like at some point, the music stops before you pick up the Crescent Moon unlock key things. Holy shit. What does this dude come hey, dude. by himself? <laughs> he was waiting, like, he was. he's like the strong man, he's like, I have to do this alone. So he waited for you to take out all of his brethren. Is he dead? Oh no, he's just at a shitty ass angle. It's funny, like, if you were bending down at that angle, IRLs, you would probably just, like, end up rolling down the hill. This game is fake. It is fake. What a fucking fake ass. You know, this game, game is playing, not real. Except for this one of my favorite games. Yeah. Dude, I gotta say, I always, like, whenever I, like, nostalgically think about this game, it's probably, like, my favorite in the last decade. Easily. I would agree. Certainly of the 2000s, and... Oh, shit! Oh. What the fuck? Oh, dude, I was like, what the fuck? This is a guy. What the fuck? The guy's coming at you, and Where'd you're you just kind from, of... Where'd you come from, bro? Dude, that guy's gonna huck his axe at you. There ain't nobody. Oh. You triggered what? I was you just saying... You saw a guy, and I didn't. I was like, I was like, you triggered a new wave, John, except for that is... Tell me right, little buggy. Who's watching my back? 